Hey guys, Backyard Flyer 99 here. Just wanted to do a quick little video of a new quad I just built um, using some uh, new components from uh, Banggood. Um, it's just a little one of their uh, 100, I believe it's a 105 millimeter frame. Um, but to start with, I have uh, using their new uh, switchable VTX, the VTX03, which is just the transmitter that is separate. And then I just got a little camera here oops, that I added on. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, I like that it has a dipole antenna on it. And you can switch it from, I don't know if you can see there, there you go, from 0, 25, 50, or 200 milliwatts. Um, so I really like to be able to true the 50 milliwatts. Is sometimes I think that 200, I have one of their other ones. Uh, this one, the TX03. And I just wonder if I'm just wasting draining battery by using that when for the most part around the yard probably don't need that much um, so I'm wondering if that 50 milliwatt will be great for just you know flying around in your yard backyard and stuff um, the other thing I have an extra one here I got two of them well, it doesn't say on it but this is their uh, F4 flight controller so I want to see how the F4 flight controller is and then lastly the thing that I'm most happy with so far is this is their new uh, race star motors um, these ones are the black ones and I also did get well, I don't have them on this one if you just want to see the, the red motors um, they look pretty cool too actually maybe I should have put those on but anyways um, I did one little indoor flight um, it's been too windy outside to fly outside um, but just in the basement and some quick punch outs uh, it, I'm really impressed with these motors um, they seem to have some pretty crazy punch out um, I, I've built some quads that have you know like the spin tech motors uh, I have one with spin tech I have one that I use the voodoo motors and one that I use the micro motor warehouse um, and I gotta say that it seems like these are pretty equal um, maybe almost even better but you know I've only done like a little quick punch out test indoors they're different quads you know none, they're not all the exact same so it's not really apples to apples comparisons you know some of the frames might be a little bit heavier and I'm not sure if I have these same propellers on all of them you know and the weight of the quad could also obviously change but just so you know what you're looking at this oh, there we got zero so this one comes in at 41 grams and these are usually the batteries I fly with so we'll be at you know 56 and a half grams uh, when we fly so let me just oh and lastly uh, I also have the new uh, beta flight on here the 3.1 I believe it is and uh, like I said just with one indoor flight uh, very impressed with the new beta flight as I uh, with stock pids it seems to be the first time that I can fly it with stock pids without having to do any tweaks and when it you know when you try to bounce back in and out it doesn't really seem to have many uh, shimmies or anything like that it seems uh, really stable so so far happy with the beta flight too but let me just show you a quick uh, indoor uh, hover punch out test so you can just uh, get a brief idea what the motors are like and hopefully in the hopefully this weekend maybe the wind will die down and I can give it a chance outside to fly it around which will obviously be a much better comparison of the motors and everything all right so just wanted to try to do a real quick little video downstairs to show you I'm going to try to do while I got a fresh battery. 4.0. So, as you can hopefully see there, the punch out is uh, pretty crazy, I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because I'm indoors. Making it seem uh, even better. But it seems like the punch out's really, really nice. And then. This is what I was trying to say. Of course, now that I think about it, I don't know if it's the new Beta Flight or the new F4 Flight Board since I haven't, since I only had the F4 on this and the new Beta Flight on this also. But as you can see, the back and forth, it's just, whoa, uh, really smooth. I mean, like, hands down the smoothest one that I have. And the punch out, you know, I mean, the way that you can just, it almost hops around like it's a small little brush, this one, I think, so. Uh, 
I think I'm really, really happy with this one. The other thing is, I mean, let me just try to see. I would say hover a little bit, maybe about 40% throttle, 35, 40. You know, that's all you need to kind of hover. But, you know, oh shoot. Well, and that was the ceiling. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, uh, pretty impressed with these motors and can't wait to get a chance to uh, fly this outside to uh, see how they work out. So, thanks for watching.